Warm greetings to my dear divine dark sparks. <laughs> I'm a bit tongue tied, <clears throat> energetically speaking. But yeah, I really felt uh, drawn to do this reading, uh, and I'm doing it led by Bilal because um, I got this message that there are people who need to hear this. So there are four principal uh, demonic deities that have um, come up with messages for this reading. So it's going to be quite significant for those who are listening. Um, <clears throat> there are four piles for you to choose from. I'll introduce you to the piles. So uh, the first one over here um, is King Bilial symbolized by this card, the Temperance, and Howlite Crystal. So, Belial, Pile 1, Howlite. Pile 2, Queen Lilith, Brodo Crocite, symbolized by Strength. Pile 3, uh, Lord Leviathan, Green Aventurine, Heart, uh, gemstones this is the gemstone of heart chakra and symbolized by the card of death then the last uh, pile uh, is of lord asmode with the sacral chakra stone carnation and the card is king of wands so uh, i'll start with pile number one <clears throat> All right, welcome pal number one or how light. So those who have selected pal number one, you're being guided right now by uh, King Bilial and the card is temperance. Uh, I'm hearing balancing energies or energy work uh, and this figure in this card is really like Bilial looking at me. So I was so drawn to this card and uh, I was like this this image of this person it's like so bilial <laughs> so anyway um those who selected this this card you've got some uh energy work to do some balancing of energies some balancing of yin and yang or understanding the whole concept of how to deal with the masculine and the feminine energies <clears throat> You also need to understand or do some meditation or some work related to the masculine and feminine energies, how they, what they represent to you and how they are working inside you. So this is more like inner alchemical, uh, I wouldn't say transformation, but I would say inner alchemical work that you need to do. That is what he's suggesting. I'm not getting any kind of heavy vibe from this card, but very. Uh, but uh, instead, I'm getting a light kind of vibe. Uh, it is simple. Even though uh, Belial is connected to Earth, uh, like uh, majorly, he's connected to Earth. Um, but here, I'm getting the vibe of air, the element of air. So many of you could be uh, from uh, air uh, could be having air uh, element in your chart. Um, you could be having uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini characteristics, not necessarily belonging to these signs, but characteristics of these signs. You 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 are displaying characteristics of these this sign for from some time. Okay, from some time. So you're in the energy of Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. And this can very well happen, even if you belong to uh, a sign. Uh, you can behave opposite to that sign. Like if you are from, from a water sign, you can act like a fire sign sometimes. It happens. This this whole sign thing is very complex. It's It's more complex than we understand it to be. Uh, nothing, nothing in the spiritual uh, world is black and white. Let me tell you that. There are so many colors, so many hues, so many shades. 
in between that sometimes it's hard to understand what's going on and why you're behaving a certain way but whatever be the case uh, i'm sensing that balance is the key word here right now uh, some energy work some energy balancing is the thing to do i'll draw a card for you that as a guidance from my new deck i'll, I'll show you the deck just a second Paulina Tarot, that's a very cute looking deck. Um, okay, I've got a card right away. <laughs> Let's see what it, oh my gosh, so. You've got the sun card, you have, you've got a beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, shifting uh, your energy to a more uh, childlike uh, zone, this is what I'm hearing. Also, uh, getting enough sunlight. So if you're staying indoors a lot, go out, bask in the sun. Uh, solar energy is what you require right now. And Bilal is connected to uh, sun. Uh, he's a solar deity. So uh, going out in the sun and sunflowers are, <laughs> you know, they are offered to Bilial. So it's not a surprise that this, the sun card came. Um He's coming to you with the message of abundance, prosperity, childlike wonder, uh, joy, happiness, um, everything good, a smiling from within. That is the kind of uh, positive vibe that you can welcome uh, in your life when you do some energy work. It's all about shifting. It's all about alchemy. Um, you know, maybe you are too, too much in gig. Sorry for yawning. <laughs> Maybe you're in too much yin vibe, so you need to get some yang. If you're in too much into yang vibe, you get to, uh, you need to shift your your energy to more yin. So like that, okay. So for example, if you are working too much, you're overworked, uh, and you're uh, always trying to get things done, you then you're too much in your masculine energy. Tone down a bit. Uh, and uh, attune yourself to the feminine current, feminine energy. Uh, be more receptive, surrender to the process, surrender to things, and sometimes delegate responsibilities, let others do things for you. This is a big problem with me, <laughs> so I can totally understand it. Yeah, if some of you are facing this right now, but uh, seriously speaking, um, it's it's nothing se serious that's coming out of it. There there are happy prospects. There is good luck uh, wanting to greet you. You just have to say yes. You just have to be receptive. That's all. So that was it for you, pal number one. I'm happy for uh, what came out in the reading for you. And I wish you good luck. Take good care of yourself. Moving on to pile number two. The beautiful card of uh, strength. Symbolized by Mother Lilith and uh, Rhodochrosite, one of my favorite gemstone. It's a feminine gemstone. It's connected to menstruation and feminine mysteries, female health, and all of that. So, what has Mother Lilith? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm hearing, what what, what I'm hearing right now, is. Uh, it's it's uh, you in a human sense if i translate it then it's like tame your heart for some of you tame your heart and for some of you don't try to tame your heart so the message goes like this mm, there are two groups of people uh, that she's speaking to one group is only listening to its heart uh, and not let letting the head say anything in this matter for them she's saying hold your horse because <laughs> I saw galloping horses, okay? I saw galloping horses. And they're like, they're crazy. They're just galloping and that's it. They're just running in full speed. For those people, she's saying, tame your horse or tame your heart. Don't go too fast. Be strong. Be in control of your heart. Be in control of your emotions. And for the second group, the second group is in a dilemma. Whether to listen to the head or the heart. They have two ways to go, like two roads diverging into different directions. 
for them she is saying hold on listen to your heart you know um, if there is a conflict between head and heart and you're tilting more towards head and you're thinking that you're foolish if you're listening if, if you're gonna listen to your heart or you're feeling confused about a relationship about a project about uh, ch changing anything then she's saying go ahead and do it anyway this is for those who are in a, in an indecisive zone and feeling confused feeling conflicted for you people she's saying go ahead just go ahead flaunt your heart so one group hold your horse hold your heart the other group just the opposite message uh what did i say i said something good <laughs> about the heart like yeah veer your heart something like that don't hold it veer it like she is wearing it here and uh you need to okay there's a very beautiful message coming you need to know when to be tender and when to be fierce i know it she's saying this about herself i know it i have a tender warm side to myself and i understand the strength of love the strength of our heart but i also can be fierce when faced with challenges obstacles blockages and anything any nonsense so she's asking you to do the same thing to deal with your shit to deal with your blockages to clear them away to work on it rather than sitting and thinking oh this way or this way she's asking you to take action basically to be proactive in your life and to know when to be tender to yourself and others and when to be fierce when to go and get what is yours a very good message just like your mother would guide you and right now you know Lilith is quite quite present in my life and I thank her from the bottom of my heart so if you happen to work with Lilith listen to her uh, this is a very very good message that I totally like uh, resonate with right now very good message hard to apply but then you know when you have to do it you have to do it it's the right thing to do so all the best take good care of yourself take care moving on to pile number pile number card number card number three symbolized by lord leviathan i just love this card the way it symbolizes death and rebirth the best thing is that it, it it's written death and rebirth and then there's infinity symbol so welcome card number three people green aventurine heart chakra stone uh let's see what lord leviathan has to say i'm really like um i admire lord leviathan's energy a lot i i admire his silence i admire his stillness and calmness but beneath the surface he is too deep he has such depth that i have not found that depth in any other goetic spirit or any other deity but you know that that depth it doesn't scare me it attracts me it draws me in and it's beautiful and I have I have so far had a, a very positive uh, experience with Lord Leviathan um, it is say it is said that in your path working with Leviathan you have to go through a lot of pain emotional turmoils emotional pain emotional challenges turbulence and stuff like that I've gone through that a lot in my life so I think uh, those of you who have picked up uh, number three three is a very significant number first of all it's a powerful number and uh, even in infernal terms it's an important number uh, because it's about creation manifestation and liberation creation manifestation liberation so Leviathan is asking you to be vacant, to be empty, to make space in yourself. This could simply mean decluttering, decluttering your life, decluttering your surroundings, uh, even doing away with objects and material possessions if you're not using them. So it's it may sound like a very, very simple, uh, you know, new age message. <laughs> 
uh, love and light kind of message, but no, it's not. It it has a deep uh, uh, connection to uh, raising your vibration. You know, sometimes very simple and small steps rather than doing elaborate rituals and, you know, uh, something dramatic in an occult sense. Sometimes doing very simple things in life actually improve your energy. And this reading is very energy oriented. It's very, uh, the whole reading, all the, all the cards. So for you, he's just asking you to empty yourself. You can see this. There's a hollow. Though this figure is wearing, wearing a robe, but it's, there is a hollow. So, you know, what he's asking you to do is to, he's saying there is a lot of, uh, noise inside all of us. It's a beautiful message. There is a lot of noise between all uh, inside all of us. Just throw it out. Empty yourself. Okay? What I can see right now in my vision is a deck of cards. And all the cards have some images on them. There is one card with no image. It's blank. So be a blank slate. Because the energy of rebirth and transformation is coming into your life. And I am sensing a very pleasant energy right now. So don't be scared to see the death card. If there are things ending in your life or going from your life or there are changes that I don't sense anything serious. Though some of you may face something or maybe facing something right now. Uh, some kind of emotional disturbance. But if something is ending, let it end. For some of you, I'm getting the message that if you feel like one of your relationships, it's ending, then two things can happen. One, which I'm strongly feeling, that relationship is going to rejuvenate and get better and get uh, become something that you wanted. Or for... Or there is a, a little chance that it will completely wither away and there will be scope for a new beginning in a new relationship. So take it as, as it resonates. Your heart already knows things. You're intuitively, you can know what things, what, what it is going to be. So death is a very good card for you. Lord Leviathan is just asking you to be calm and still and be blank. Let changes happen. Let new things grow. So that was it for you. Take good care of yourself. Moving on to the last pile, uh, or last card, I'm sorry. Uh, this is symbolized by Lord Asmodeus and uh, uh, the Sacral Chakra Heart Stone. <laughs> okay. He's simply saying, light your fire. Show them who you are. Now, there are a couple of messages that are coming to me. Some of you need to be really active. The lizard as a spirit animal and the lion as a spirit animal means something to those people who have selected this pile. This pile has a lot of energy, vigor, uh, strength, fortitude, sexuality, all of it clubbed into one. So, and I, this card is also exuding a lot of masculine energy, raw, primal sexual masculine energy so you can see that there is a swirling energy coming out of this fire he is asking you to hold this he's giving it to you i wield my power calmly i know what i'm doing and I, i'm telling this to you right now you should also know what you're doing this is the time to take a stand for yourself in everything. Take a stand for your life. Look at me. Look at me. I'm, I'm looking straight into you. I can see you. I can see what you're going through. Good or bad, whatever. Dive right into it. Say yes to creation. Say yes to life. Say yes. I'm also getting a lot of sexual energy. I don't know why. Definitely it's Asmodeus. But this is an energy of creation. Okay. 
anything, be it in your relationship, be it in your work, be it in your own self, he's asking you to take a stand, to have gravity in you, to and and, and to let others uh, know this. Right now, you're you are you're very attractive. Okay, you're surrounded surround surrounded with a very attractive energy. Like even in desert, even in desert, you're not parched. You're not weary. You know your way. He he is bringing the message of strength, diving right in and finding your strength and taking it out, pulling it out and using it to your own advantage. That is what he's telling you to do. For many of you, success, prosperity, creative uh, collaborations, or do engaging in creative things or artistic things is coming up. Some of you could even be artists yourself. But read into what the lizard and the lion spirit animals symbolize because they've got messages for you. And you people are symbolized by the fire element. Right now, the element of fire is really active in your life. I don't know why, but I heard salamander. You, If you're thinking about spirit keeping, if at all, then salamanders are going to be very good spirits for you. Very good to assist you. Uh, some of you could even consider working with jinns. Not all of you, some of you, if you were thinking. So jinns are the spirit for you if you were asking yourself, which spirit should I have? What will I resonate with? There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire right now. Uh, there's the energy of fire. Anything is possible right now. So I wish you good luck. Take good care of yourself. I want to take this opportunity to thank all my viewers, my subscribers, people who write regularly to me. Your mails are so precious. I feel so good. Um, thank you for trusting me uh, and sharing about your life, your little stories. Let me tell you one thing. I may not be able to get back to you with a, with a response, uh, you know, uh, that very day or that very moment. I may take time. Um, but... Each one of you, those who write to me, appreciate me, understand me, send me your good wishes, your love, your warmth. Each one of you, you're so special to me. Seriously, I'm saying it from my heart today. Okay, so please be yourself, believe in yourself and love yourself. I'm sending you all lots of love and dark blessings. Hail Bilial.